Hello and welcome everyone, this is Mike. I'm the founder and CEO of Sweet Dash. Our video today is intended to be a sneak peek to a feature that has been in development for quite a while. These are some important updates to our billing toolkit that will allow you to really expand your options as it relates to how you can bill your customers and clients, the choices you can give them, and the expanded ability to choose whether they're one-time charges or subscription charges. Again, this feature has not been released yet, but we want to give you guys a heads up so you understand what it will look like when it's released so that there's no confusion as you go about your day. You're anticipating this and it'll be a smooth transition for you. All right, let's start off inside an invoice, and I think this is the best place to start illustrating the changes here. One of the first things you might notice is there is no plans block over here where you can add a subscription plan, and that's because now you can have a subscription associated with any item, package, or add-on. So what's happened to the plans as you used to know them? Well, they've all been converted into subscription items. So if you look here, every one of the plans that you had previously have been migrated into a subscription item and all the invoices that existed or invoice generators that existed previously will all have been migrated properly and it should be a very smooth transition for you. Now that segues perfectly into this part of the video where we talk about one time and subscriptions. So under one time you can have items that are one time items. There are add-ons, one time charges for this add-on or packages, one-time charges for these packages. And it's the same with subscriptions. Items, subscription add-ons, and subscription packages. And you can combine these in any combination here on the invoice, so there's no limitations there. Okay, so let's move here and we'll continue the explanation. One of the things you'll notice is under subscriptions, there used to be plans and subscriptions in a drop-down here. The plans menu has been moved down here to plans and we'll discuss plans a little bit more as we go along. So notice now you have items, packages, add-ons, and price bumps. Let's look at add item and we'll start working our way through this. So as you add an item, you can choose between a one-time item or a subscription plan. Let's keep it on one time for now. And as you'll see, you have all the elements that you need to choose the one-time pricing. There are some additional new items here. You can allow the target to change the rate. So in this case, the target will actually be able to enter whatever amount that they want, and this works just like a donation item you'll see as we go forward. The other change is you'll be able to allow the target to change the quantity, and this will work in proposal choice blocks and in the checkout form. Now in the case that you choose subscription plan, you'll have the choice of using an existing plan that exist in this plans list that you've already created or you can on the fly create a brand new plan and you can fill in the details of that plan in this same form and work your way down. You can even set all the automations associated with the plan here and then of course set the automations associated with the item specifically here for when an invoice is paid with the item etc. Just like you're used to. But now all of these things are combined into one form that you can create all at once on the fly for subscription item with a new plan and the subscription will be created according to the details of the plan. After this item is created, when you go in and edit this item, then it will say existing plan and the plan that you created will be here preloaded, sort of like this. And also this plan will be existing in this list called plans. So essentially, we are having items that are connected to a plan. The plan contains the details of how the subscription should be created for the target, and together they work to create the entire structure. And in relation to that, if you want to create the plan first and then create the subscription item, for example, and then associate them there, you can do that. Or now, as you saw before, when you're creating the subscription item package or add-on, you are able to create the plan on the fly and the platform will auto associate them. But any plans that are created will appear in this list in the office settings and you'll find it down here. Okay, and then packages works in very much a similar way. Packages works just like you remember where you collect all the items in the package and you can make the package a one-time payment or a subscription plan package. And everything else is exactly the same as we just talked about for items. Packages, you can allow the target to change the rate and the quantity. 
The same with add-ons. Add-ons work just as they did before, but add-ons also can be a subscription or a one-time, and add-ons can allow the target to change the rate and the quantity. The new element we have is called price bumps. It works in the way that is an add-on price only to a subscription or a one-time billing unit, which will be an item package or add-on. You must set the conditional availability here for the one-time items, subscription items, packages, add-ons, etc. So it means that this bump would only be available when this specific package is chosen in the proposal choice block or the checkout form. And also understand that bumps have no time frame component. So for a subscription item like this one, if you bumped by $10, for example, that would only indicate that you're going to bump the rate by $10. It has no bearing on the frequency of the subscription. That will definitely always say is one month. Only the rate can be changed by a bump. So if I had a $10 bump, it would be $29.99 every one month if the target chose to add the bump in a proposal choice block or checkout form. And just to emphasize that even bumps items, yes packages, yes add-ons, and even bumps have configured automations, opportunities. So in a very granular way, you can organize your automations to fire precisely the right combination based on what combination of items, packages, add-ons, and bumps that the target chooses. So you can use this granular spectrum of automations to fine tune exactly what they'll have access to based on what they chose to purchase. Before we continue, let's just make a few more things clear. So when you create a plan here, this serves as a template for the subscription that will be generated using the plan. So when you associate a subscription item or a subscription package or add-on to a plan, then when that item, package, or add-on is used in an invoice or a generator or an estimate, then whatever the plan is set to at that minute, that's what will be placed on that estimate, invoice, or invoice generator. If you modify the plan after that, then it will not change any invoices, estimates, or generators that have been created so far. They will still use the previous pricing and configuration from the plan. So just keep that in mind. This prevents invoice generators and invoices and estimates that are already created or in use from being changed, which gives you stability with items that were already issued from your company. And then if you do decide to change a plan, pricing or details after that, then any new invoices or estimates or any new generators that you create will take on those parameters and those parameters will be used going forward to create the subscriptions associated with those subscription items, packages, or add-ons. Now the exception to this is in the proposal choice block or a checkout form in which the plan is referenced by a subscription item, add-on, or package. And in those cases, because it's a customer choice item and they are seeing exactly what they're choosing at that moment, we're always referencing the latest parameters of the plan. So if the price was changed, it will reflect instantly in checkout forms and in proposal choice block. So your target can choose them. They will see the pricing. Everything is approved. And then when they approve the proposal or they pay, then of course the pricing is set in stone at that point. A few more items to mention is that checkout forms and proposals now support total taxes and discounts. And also add-ons and packages are now like items in that they allow inline quantity adjustments, discounts, and taxes. All right, you've seen what that looks like from the admin side, but here it's just a checkout form displayed on a landing page in a very rudimentary way. So if the target will choose to have this LED desk lamp, we can see that they were allowed to change the quantity, so they're able to do that here and you can see everything updating in real time here. Same here for this water bottle, but you can see that the quantity was preset to five, and when they select, now they are able to go up and down, but the default value was five. Here is one of the items that they can set the value, so all they have to do is click here, and they could say, no, I want to give 5,000, but the maximum was set for 500, so they're not able to give 5,000, but let's say down here they want to, give 5,000 per month. Now that one has no maximum and they're able to do that. All right, and last thing, let's take a look at how this would look in a proposal. Remember these are test environments, so they are somewhat camera ready, but they're not fully refined. So same thing here, we can choose. Here you see we had a price bump added 
for the smartwatch it looks like. So I added priority support to the smartwatch. I have two smartwatches selected, so the bump was added times two. I have two priority supports for my two smartwatches, but if I go down to one, now I only have one smartwatch and one bump for priority support. Let me deselect education support. Let me add a subscription. So again, these are just for testing, but you can see that there's quite a few options available to you and very powerful options. When this is released, you'll have plenty of time to play with it. Hit us up down in the comments and let us know how it's working. Okay, so now you're ready for this big release.